Ahmed Loftus in the Bulls change room to speak to a young man who is a Springbok and a Bull. Now this young man has a remarkable story to tell. A story quite different to the stories of other professional rugby players. I'm from Mount Frey, uh, it's in the Eastern Cape, mm. um, yeah, between um, Tata and Kokstad, it's a small town there. Uh, but I went to Ndabangulu High School, mm. which is another uh, town that is like 30-40 minutes drive. So that's where my mom is from, so that's why I went uh, to that high school. So there was no rugby there in high school. I actually grew up playing soccer a lot. I played 3 and I played 11. Oh. Uh, I kick with my left foot. <laughs> yes, so yes, I, I enjoyed that a lot and I, I did a lot of uh, athletics, 100 meters, you know, relay. After school, what did you do then? Uh, I went to Durban uh, to study. Uh, I didn't know about uh, Springboks then, I didn't know about Bulls or any uh, other rugby team. I didn't know actually that you can make a living out of rugby as well. So I was doing my second year when, uh, when I decided to, to try it out just for fun. There was a guy in the neighborhood uh, called uh, Quentin Hipner that was uh, playing for Queensborough Club at the time. I asked him if I can join him one day, one day. then he said, yeah. Sure, I think you're big enough, come, and um, yeah, that's when it started. Tell us your experiences the very first day that you were on a rugby field. Yeah, you know, uh, the first day I got there, we, we were training, you know, and I was surprised because I thought to myself, you know, I'm going to have to smash some oaks here, mm. you know, and it was, it, was, uh, it was training, so they were actually playing touch rugby, so I was very confused. You know, what's going on now? I have to touch a guy. You know, I was expecting to tackle the guy. Okay, and then what made you decide to go to the king specifically? Um, there's a friend of mine, Oshange, you know, still a very good friend of mine today, that he said, no, kings are, are looking good, you know, because they had uh, such good players like Norman Nelson, uh, Jacques Potrita was still there. Mm. So I said, in the first divisions, kings are doing well. So um, 2011, uh, Robbie Kempson didn't have props under 21. He had a lot of injuries just before the season starts. Mm. So then they said, no, okay, you can, uh, you, you can get this guy, come for trials first, then um, we'll take it from there. You then went, you played, you got yourself a contract with the Kings, and what happened thereafter? Uh, what happened is, when I got to the Kings, firstly, I need to get this, yeah. <laughs> this interview, yeah. So, uh, I got the job at JT Ross, and in three weeks' time, uh, uh, I worked there for three weeks, in then Devin. in Devon, yeah. then I went to PE for trials. Now, when I get to PE, they're telling me, no, the, thri the trials will be in three weeks' time, so <laughs> just play for, play for Pomba so long, you oh, know? No. You know, and I'm thinking to myself, yes, I can't be here, you know, I just got hired in Devon. You know, for what I've studied, and I can't, I can't stay here for three weeks. I prayed about it, and uh, I phoned to my boss, and I said, "No, thank you for the opportunity you gave me, but uh, I'm going to give rugby a chance." So from there, I stayed in PE. I didn't have a contract for six months. You know, tough time, uh, tough time. I had to move to the township as well. 